Hello students, this is Mr. Semmingson. Today we are going to be learning about the five themes of geography. During this video, our learning targets are to be able to list the five themes of geography and to match geography examples with the appropriate theme. As you watch the video, please write down one example for each theme of geography that we learn about. Throughout the video, I'll be providing examples of Toma Middle School. You may use these examples in your notes. You may also pause and rewind the video if you need to, to re-watch a theme or to take time to write something down. When you finish, there is a quiz to complete on exam. We're first going to start by defining the topic of geography. Geography is the study of Earth and its people. This is a very large topic that obviously includes many different cultures and aspects of our environment. Therefore, geographers use five themes to describe the places and people on Earth. These five themes include movement, region, human environment interaction, or HEI for short, location, and place. A good way to remember the five themes is the acronym Mr. Help, where each letter of Mr. Help is the start of one of the five themes. The first theme that we are going to define is location. Location is simply the position of a place on the Earth's surface. With this theme, we are only describing where a place is. Geographers use two types of location to describe a location absolute location and relative location. Absolute location is the exact spot on Earth where a geographic feature is found. This could be a city, a town, a mountain, lake, or perhaps even a building. Absolute location is given using latitude and longitude. This is the most precise way to find a location. An example of absolute location is Toma Middle School is at 43.9 degrees north latitude by 90.5 degrees west longitude. Using these coordinates, we should be able to find Toma Middle School. The next type of location is relative location. This is not as exact as absolute location, but it still tells us where to find a geographic feature. Relative location describes where that feature is in relation to the features around it. So we are not pinpointing where that feature is. We are saying what it's next to. An example for Toma Middle School is TMS is north of St. Mary's School. If somebody is familiar with Toma, they do not need to know where the middle school as long as they can see the steeple of St. Mary's. The next theme is place. Place describes the characteristics of a location that make it unique or different. So we already have our location of Toma Middle School. If we want to describe what Toma Middle School is like, we would use the theme place. You can describe a place in two different ways. First, by looking at its physical features, which includes the plants, animals, landforms, and climate. You can also describe the human characteristics which is simply describing the people who live there. We can use both physical and human characteristics to describe Toma Middle School. We'll start out with a physical characteristic. Toma Middle School is three stories tall and has large green diamonds on the outside walls. For a human characteristic, Toma Middle School has over 600 students between grades 6 and 8. Next we're going to define the theme movement. Movement is how and why people, ideas, and goods move from place to place. Examples here at Toma Middle School include Students learned about the five themes of geography from a video posted on YouTube by their teacher. This example describes how ideas can move from person to person, in this case using newer technology. Another example is large trucks deliver food to TMS every week. This would describe how goods move from place to place or in and out of Toma Middle School. Our fourth theme is human environment interaction. 
I think by this point in your education, you can describe many ways in which humans affect the environment and how the environment affects us. This is the theme HEI. It is defined as how people affect their environment and how the environment affects them. Humans impact the environment when they use or change it to meet their needs, and the environment influences the way we live. At Toma Middle School, we can provide examples of how we affect the environment and how the environment affects us. First, one way that we've affected the environment is by planting trees and bushes behind the school to make a seating area for students during lunch. The environment affects us in many ways. One way at TMS is through drills. The students at TMS practice tornado drills in the fall and spring. If we lived in a location where tornadoes were not common, we may not spend as much time going through these drills. The last theme that we will be studying is region. Region refers to areas of the Earth's surface that have several common characteristics. These common characteristics could be the land, the natural resources, or the people who live there. This theme is most often confused with place because both of these themes describe an area. Region compares multiple areas or describes how one large area has common characteristics throughout. TMS is part of many regions. One example of a region that they are part of is called the Driftless Area. The Driftless Area is a geographic location that was never touched by, by glaciers. This includes the states of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, and Illinois. Throughout this region, there are similar land characteristics and natural resources that are only found in areas where glaciers did not touch. To summarize what we've learned today, geographers use the five themes to organize their ideas about the world. As we learn about the Eastern Hemisphere this year, we are going to use the five themes to describe the locations that we are learning about. A good way to remember the five themes of geography is the acronym Mr. Help. Remember, each letter stands for one of the themes. If you keep this in mind, you'll always be able to remember the five themes of geography. This concludes our video on the five themes of geography. Now that it's done, for your information, you'll be able to view the PowerPoint at any time on Infinity. It is titled The Five Themes of Geography. You could also watch this video again if you need a reminder of what the five themes are. I'd now like you to go to exam and complete the Five Themes of Geography quiz. You may use your notes to complete it, but you'll need the access code WATER in order to take it. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in class.